Welcome to the Dodge training series for Torque Arm 2 reducers. Today we're going to show you how to properly install a backstop in the Torque Arm 2 reducer. When you open your backstop kit, you're going to find the outer race, the backstop itself, the bolts that hold the race to the housing, your snap ring, your key, and you may need a spacer ring. If you need a spacer ring, it will come in the kit. You'll also find your installation manual. If it's not in the kit, it is downloadable from our website. You're going to need some basic tools to complete the installation of your backstop. You'll need something to scrape the gasket material that's currently in the housing right now. You need a pair of snap ring pliers. You need an Allen wrench that fits the Allen bolts on the housing. You'll need a torque wrench that fits the bolts that secure the race to the housing. And you may need a pair of needle nose pliers. First step is to remove the Allen bolts that secure the cover to the housing. To you have your bolts out, you remove the backstop cover, and you need to scrape the gasket material that's currently in the housing out making sure not to get any particles in the bearings, clean the surface. Now that you have your backstop cover and your gasket material removed from your housing and the surface is clean, you need to apply a bead of RTV around inside the bolt hole pattern. This will provide your seal between the housing and the outer race preventing oil from leaking out the bolt holes. Your backstop comes in the kit secured with a tie-down strap so that it fits in the race. If, by accident, you cut that tie-down strap, the backstop will not go in. What do you do? The answer is simple. Take a heavy rubber band, wrap it twice around, fold the sprags down, and now your backstop fits in the race. Now we're ready to install the backstop itself. If your kit comes with a spacer ring, that goes in first. This helps to position the backstop inside the race so that it makes full contact with the stopping surface providing maximum stopping torque in, in the event of a reversal load. Now you install your backstop on the shaft matching the direction of rotation that your shaft needs to turn. In a double reduction they'll turn the same, in a single reduction they'll turn opposite. We have a double so we take a look at the arrow on the backstop and we match the rotation to the rotation of the output. Next, you install your key, then you install your snap ring. A good pair of snap ring pliers goes a long way to making this easy. Next, you slide your outer race over your backstop. If you use the rubber band method, this is where your needle nose pliers come in. Take the rubber band off after you have the backstop brace over the backstop itself. Next, you install your bolts, locate your bolt holes, and adjust with your torque wrench to the values indicated in your backstop instruction. Now you have your backstop cover installed, you're ready to install your gearbox on the shaft. 